The Philippines is full of incredible mythology and fantastic creatures. My grandpa has always been a believer of these myths. That's because he's experienced them. This is what he told me. I lived in a rural town in the Visayan Islands of the Philippines. I was in my mid-twenties and working late one night. It was about two o'clock in the morning when I began to walk my way to the bus station, my way lit only by the full moon. I've walked this path many times. I passed by this house that had a dog in the yard that would always bark at me when I passed. But tonight, it just stared and just watched as I walked by. And that's when I heard it, a very strange sound in the distance. I had heard of the tikwi, sometimes known as a wak wak or aswang. It separates from the lower half of its body to fly around at night, searching for any living soul, to rip out their hearts with their talon feet and feast. And when you hear its call, you know it's hungry. So I continued walking towards the bus station and I could still faintly hear the sound. And I saw that there was a security booth with a guard inside. I didn't want to wait at the station alone, so I slipped inside the booth and waited with the guard. I still wasn't sure if I was imagining the sound, but from the look on the guard's face, I'm pretty sure he heard it too. So we both just sat there, motionless. Finally, the bus arrived and I ran out of the booth and onto the bus and rode all the way home, the sounds of the tikwi growing fainter and fainter. The next day, I told my coworkers what had happened, and that's when one of them told me, tikwis are master tricksters. The further away they sound, the closer they are. So, do you think that was really a tikwi that was hunting my grandpa? Or do you think he was imagining things? Do you know any other badass mythical creatures? Let us know in the comments. Like this video if it gave you the chills, and don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos. Until next time, sweet dreams.